south on Copley Square, and that church was just beat from the bombing, and it had to close down for over a week. They're going to have their first sermon there. They had their first sermon there today. The Reverend Nancy Taylor joins us now. It's the Old South Church, but every year you said it's nicknamed the what? Um, every year at this time of year, we call it the Church of the Finish Line, because we're right at the finish line of the Boston Marathon. Yeah. So tell us what happened. Were you, you were watching from the window? I was actually up in the, in the bell tower up there, and um, watching the runners come in. When I heard and saw these explosions, these concussions, and uh, just a whole lot of smoke, and then people just running. Yeah, and yeah, I couldn't believe it, I'm sure. Well, it took a while to sort of figure out what was going on, and then I, I saw as people started running towards the the danger, going in to help people. It was uh, remarkable. Yeah, and as um, a member of the clergy, it must have, and it was terrible to see, but to see the human spirit kick in and help people, it must have been warming, at least that part was warming to your heart. Oh, uh, people's courage, uh, I, I don't think I've ever seen anything like it. Um, going right in towards the danger, towards the blast, to help people out. So helping people heal, and the sermon today in the church, what was the message today, what was it like? We talked about lamentation um, as a part of our life. Um, it's natural to, to feel lament, to feel anger, and then also to, to start to move on. We've invited people to tell the, the stories of where were you. Um, we're doing a lot of talking to each other, a lot of hugging, and we are also reminding people that there's way more good in the world than there is evil. And this, uh, being a me member of that church, what does that church mean to you? What as you look at it, what does it mean to Boston? It's a beautiful church. Well, it's, a, it's an iconic church. It's the Church of Benjamin Franklin and Samuel Adams. We're the folks that started the Boston Tea Party. So we've been in the in the mix of things for Boston uh, for a long time. We're older than this country, yeah. and the church is an iconic symbol of that of the the vigorous commitments to justice and mercy that are part of our ministry. I was at the interfaith service with the president and got to. It was just. It was really heartwarming to see all everyone coming together at that service. You were there, you got to speak. Let's listen and then you and I will talk about it. We are shaken, but we are not forsaken. Another's hate will not make of us haters. Another's cruelty will only redouble our mercy. So I remember that moment and I said, you know, it's so hard not to hate in a moment like this. I mean, no matter how how strong your faith is, and when you look at the, the images, and if you were involved in that, if you lost a loved one, it's hard not to hate. Yeah, it's hard, and that's but that's a part of the Christian discipline. It's a part of what makes this world a good place. If we all um, hated with the haters, we would be in big, big trouble. As you look around here, and you see all these people who are out here, and they're coming by the thousands, really, every day, what does it do for you? This place has been remarkable, and the feeling here, the, the, the sound, it's somber. Everybody comes into this place, it's sort of sacred space. It's a place of memory and of hope and of healing. Yeah, it is somber, but it's also, people said they don't want to be too maudlin about it. They want to be inspired, and they want to smile a little bit because they know things, listen, as bad as it is, that things are going to get better. Yes, we did some laughing in church as well today. You did? Yes, it was important to laugh. Um, we, I, I told some jokes and we did some things. You, you have to. Um, part of it is, is, is the release and part of it is, um, you know, there is still things to be thankful for. There's still much joy in the world. Yeah. We talked about babies and children and innocence. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you very much. You helped me in that. Your, your, your voice is so soothing and your presence is so soothing. Thank you. Thank you, Doug. We really appreciate it. Thank you for being here Thank and you. visiting us in Boston and telling our story. That's been important for us as well. You guys have been very gracious and very uh, open and warm and welcoming, and we really appreciate you. Boston is warm and yeah. welcoming. It really it's is. It's not the temperature. Well, I'm going to go put a there, is, there is that, yes. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, there was another 